John Kaiser here. Today we're at Marine Installations in Gig Harbor with Brad Heacock. Um, as you can see, I brought my uh, glass fly moocher that just got fixed uh, by the fiberglass fixer. It had all the body work done on it. And it's looking good. I needed to put a new transducer on and I was talking to Brad. Since this thing lives in the boathouse, uh, we were looking for something a little bit different. So I got a standard Lowrance uh, deucer on there, but what's so special about this bracket, Brad? Well, so you can, this bracket, if you're up on the bunks on the, at the boathouse, say, and you got hit from the side, you got protection from the side here. This this plate protects the, the actual transducer mm -hmm. and supports the neck so you're not snapping them off. And you also, if you set down on a bunk, this whole thing comes up with, the, it's all spring loaded, comes up and then it just drops back down. So pretty much from any, any, any direction, you're not going to, you're not going to hurt that transducer. The transducer yeah, that's kind of an issue because, you know, you get a little bouncy weather and you're trying to line up on the bunks on the boathouse and bring the elevator up and that can yeah. be an issue, but it, it looks like it'd be a great deucer for uh, other applications. Maybe you're out on the water and you got something mounted like a, a skimmer type transducer, you know, we're doing like a structure scan, that kind of mount on there would be nice. You know how those things tend to pop up every once in a while and you don't realize it till you get in and put the boat on the trailer. And Right. The, the structure scan so long, it sticks back off the boat clear back here. So when the boat takes off, the water pressure wants to push them up. So when you get to where you're going, they're sitting at an angle here. So with this, it would, it allows them to come up if they need to. And then they just settle right back down as soon as the pressure's off of them. So it's all stainless steel construction and nice stainless, heavy stainless steel spring in there. And now I see, uh, you no longer do any drilling on the, for putting your cable ties on. No. Nope. So what are we what are we looking at here? So these these weld mounts these are all these are all adhesive bond uh, heased on with a uh, uh, two part epoxy. Um, pretty tough stuff. These hold about forty five pounds shear strength each for each one of them. So that's funny for that cable. Oh yeah, they go and, right on there and they they stay permanent. If you got to replace the transducer, you cut the wire ties. You put your new transducer on and. And reuse them, so no holes in the boat, no holes in the in, you know water intrusion into a fiberglass hole, and and even on an aluminum hole, we don't have to drill holes in the bottom anymore. Drill them and tap them, and all the stuff we had to go through to seal them before. So, well, if you need yeah. any electrical work done on your boat, definitely give Brad a call at Marine Installations in Gig Harbor. There you go.